Hi people, hope you're doing well. I think you know the introduction by now, it starts with a clap. It goes, hi people, hope you're doing well, hope you're having a fantastic day so far. Today we're gonna do a live session. It's gonna be foam rolling, it's gonna be stretching. You're gonna need a lacrosse ball if you have one, a hard ball, some kind of foam roller, a strap, and a mat if you have. If you don't have it, just follow along. Hopefully you have maybe a tennis ball in the house, some type of foam roller, and if you don't have a yoga strap, it's best to use a long, you know, soccer sock, a long sock. All right, so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna start from the bottom up. That's how I always like to go. You start from the bottom up, you address the feet, which are probably the most important region on the human body. Obviously you can't, it's the, one of the most complex regions of the human body. Obviously the neck region, the cranial, the head regions, very complicated, but if you're an athlete, if you're a footballer, if you're an every, everyday person, especially as a footballer, especially if you've been doing my live sessions, if you've been doing a lot of ball mastery, a lot of ball work, you're constantly on your toes. So you're constantly bouncing around your toes, trying to be quick, trying to react quickly to situations. And I think a lot of people don't emphasize the importance of doing your stretching, doing your foam rolling, doing your mobility, and doing all of these things to allow you to be a better footballer. If you take care of your mobility and your muscles aren't as tight, if you're more relaxed in the body, the nervous system, and the mind, you're gonna automatically play better. That's why my page and what I talk about consistently is the 24-7 circadian rhythm, the process of the human body, the holistic approach. You gotta come at it holistically. You gotta come at it mindset. Most important is the mindset. You gotta have the mindset, you gotta have the why, you gotta have the motivation. From there, then you look at the nutrition. What are you doing in the kitchen? How, are you, how much water are you drinking? What kind of quality of the food are you getting? Is it organic? Are you taking in a lot of chemicals? Third is movement. Very, very important for a footballer. In the gym, and on the pitch, depending on your position, we talked about this before, I don't want to go too deep, depending on your position, working on your first touch, working on your control out of the air, there's so much we can talk about. That's very complicated. I just want to cover movement. Fourth thing is sleep, making sure you're recovering properly, sleeping good quality hours, at least seven to nine hours, and then you're doing this stuff. You're doing yoga, you're doing breath work to get you into a parasympathetic, state which can help you recover, come back fresher, and come back stronger to the next week of exercise. So today is Wednesday, we're taking an off day, I'm taking it light, my feet are sore, my calves are sore, my whole body's sore. So without talking much more, you know I like to talk, I'm a New Yorker and I do like to talk. We're gonna get into a mobility routine and I'm gonna explain to you why I'm doing every exercise because I think the most important thing is to know why you're doing it because it'll motivate you to want you to do more. What's that going to equal? That's going to equal more consistency. What's that going to equal a better body over time, a better mind over time? Boom, boom, boom. First thing we're going to do is just going to be a plantar fascia roll with the lacrosse ball. So all you're going to do is put the lacrosse ball under the sole of your foot and just lean into it. You're gonna, you should feel crickles, cracks. I just want you to breathe into this and roll the region for about a minute. Like I talked about in a past mobility stretching video, the bottom of the feet, the feet, they take a lot of stress from the body, from daily movement, from repetitive movement, from constantly being on your toes as a footballer. So you gotta make sure to get in there and really kind of warm up the tissue. So there's a lot of studies done, I don't wanna to get too deep into science, but one of the main things is you need at least 9,000 pounds of force to break up adhesion, to break up scar tissue, to break up fascia. So there are many different studies on foam rolling. For me, the best thing about foam rolling and rolling out your muscles and your fascia and things like that is to help them relax. It gets warmth to the tissue, helps them relax, and helps the nervous system be at ease because what is pain? Pain is the nervous system feels like it's being attacked, like it's being challenged. So it's giving you a signal to your brain that there's pain. So if you 
get your bot, if you get your roller and you get your lacrosse ball on that region and it's massaging the tissue, relaxing the tissue, the tissue is going to become more relaxed, which is going to lead to less pain, which is going to lead to better movement. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to stretch the big toe. All you're going to do is place your big toe on the lacrosse ball, have the foot pointed forward, and what you're going to do is just 10 movements of the knee over the toe. I've discussed it many times before, it may look funny, you may think it's funny, the big toe is one of the most important parts of the human body for performance, for sprinting, for landing, for cutting, think about it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Next thing you're going to do is get the two middle toes, same thing. You should feel under those middle toes, there's a band that goes from those middle toes back to the heel and can even go up to the Achilles. So just give me ten. Good, next thing you're gonna do, get on the outside part of the toes. So first thing, you're breaking up the you're breaking up the plantar fascia, warming the fascia underneath the foot, which you probably will feel there's some bumps. What you wanna do is get in there, don't go too hard. You want to try your best, obviously, to breathe through the movement. Like I've talked about, this isn't the most fun, this isn't the most sexy session, but it's useful. So next thing we're going to do, we're going to go to that big toe, and we're just going to rock. Middle of the toes. Outside of the toes. I'm going to get onto the floor. We're going to get into the Achilles and the calf region. Two parts of your calf, the gastrocnemius, which is the bigger head, the meatier head, and the soleus, the smaller head of the calf. And all I want is 10 rolls back and forth to warm up the region. Make sure you're rolling the calf around the roller. Cool. Next thing we're going to do is just get on the soleus Achilles tendon region. I don't want you rolling directly on the Achilles tendon, but around it, you're gonna find some tough spots. And one of the key things with foam rolling is if you find a really tight spot, just hang out on it. Hang out on it a little bit. You know, 15 to 30 seconds on the region, move around it a little bit, breathe into it, get oxygen to the area, let it release. We're going to get the anterior tibialis, the peroneals, so it's the front of the calf, front of the lower leg. All you're going to do is get on the roller, give me 10 rolls. Also not fun, if you experience shin splints, this is somewhere you want to hit. So like I said before, part of the motivation is sometimes it's tough to do these type of sessions because they're not as fun, they're, they hurt, and they don't release the type of feel-good chemicals, feel-good hormones that a good sweat session releases. But the, these sessions are as important as the training sessions because if you help yourself recover more quick, quickly, think about it. You're, going to be able to build your body in a better way because you're going to be able to consistently train with a fresher body with a less painful body which is if you're a footballer which is going to make you perform more positive actions that will help your team which you know i like as you guys see i think about it from the smallest thing to the biggest thing that's what you have to do when you want to motivate yourself and 
Trust me, I'm not motivated ever really to do these sessions, but I try to get them in. So we hit the lower leg. We're gonna stretch the lower legs now. We released a bit of the tension with the foam rolling, relieved the nervous system a little bit. Now what we're gonna do is stretch. You've seen these stretches before if you've been to these sessions. If not, they're new. So the first thing we're doing is a front leg stretch. It's gonna stretch what we just rolled, the anterior tibialis, the peroneals, and really gonna open up the front of your leg. All you're doing is putting your foot down with your feet and your toes down, and just leaning back. A couple breaths here. Next thing we're gonna do is the active foot stretch, the feet, the toes are gonna be pointed down to the ground, just like my fingers kinda are right now. And all you're gonna do is rock back and forth. You should feel an opening through the bottom of your feet and the Achilles. Now what we're gonna do, if you don't see, instead of just coming directly forward with the quads, I want you to go out and up. You're stretching all the toes. We're gonna do a mobile calf stretch. What you're gonna do, put that knee towards the ground. Try to bring that heel towards the ground. Knee, heel, ten each foot. Other foot. I wanna hit the hamstring, back part of the leg. What we're gonna do, put the hands on the ground. If you can, if you have a higher pain threshold, just put that leg over the other leg and rock. I'm not going to because I wanna hit the whole region. So what you wanna do is kinda of get that whole back of your leg. So if you want to get more intense, if you have any really tight trigger points, uh, pressure areas, you can dig in there with the lacrosse ball. Next thing you're gonna do is get the IT band, the side of the leg. Many, many misconceptions about the IT band, many people don't do it. The people at DBC, which is one of the best training facilities in the world with some of the most intelligent people, they have their clients do it. I was certified, I'm taught by them, so I trust in what they do. Anyone watching from DBC, shout out. Hope you're doing well in Miami. All I want you to do is roll outer part of your knee up kind of towards your glute, towards your ass. So it's just here 10 times. As you guys see, you want to put, you can put your hands on the ground as an anchor, put your right leg over it, and just let that other leg come through. Next thing, since we're here, just roll over onto the quad region and do the same thing from the middle of that knee up towards the hip flexor region. Ten times. Just move around the foam roller, like I said, to hit the spots you need to. Next thing. I want you to hit the adductor, the groin region on the left leg since we're already here. What you're going to do is kind of lie with this leg on a 90 degree angle. We're working the left and you're going to roll from the VMO up to the crotch region. Ten times. Next thing we're going to get is the glutes, the ass. And then we're gonna stretch a little bit the legs and then we'll come towards the upper. So, what you're gonna do is get your ass on one part of the roller. And all you're doing, using that other leg to, like I said, move around the roller. You're gonna find tight spots. And all I want you to do is, like I said, Find a tight spot, you hang out on the region. First thing we're gonna do, we hit the hamstrings first, so we're gonna stretch out the hamstrings. What I want you to do, get into a split stance position. Drive that ass back, 
And what you're doing, you're putting your hands on the ground and you're just simply stretching both legs. The main focus is that front leg. So, knees are down, ass goes with it. Ten reps. Other leg, you're hitting the front foot, both legs are bent, hands are on the ground, drive the ass back, extend the legs. We'll shake it out, I'm gonna get a quad ham combo, grab the quad, standing, hand is up. What you're doing is a slight reach forward. From the side, the right leg, opposite arm is up. You stretch forward, this foot kicks back, arm forward, foot kicks back, and you're forward. Next thing, it's gonna want you to grab the hip, twist it out. It's gonna open the hip, twist it out. I want 10 each leg. Just get yourself a pole. All you're gonna do is some leg swings. Leg swings across to open the groin. 10 total. So again, what you want is your chest facing the wall, the foot facing the wall as straight as possible, and just swing the leg, open the hip, open the hamstring, open the groin. Good, next thing I want you to do, forward leg swing, same thing, you're against the wall. And you're just kicking back and forth, it should feel a nice open in the hams and in the hips. Other side. Next thing we're gonna do is just an easier quad stretch, same type of thing, but I don't want you to go forward. All I want you to focus on is staying tall and just driving the leg back slightly. Five each leg. Hit the groin slightly. This is one of my favorite groin stretches. I want eight each side to what you're doing. The heel is aligned with the knee and you're just reaching, gaining some length. So other side, heel aligned with the knee, get length. Next thing we're gonna do, I wanna get the T-spine. So the T-spine is the most important thing for rotation in the upper body. Hips in the lower body, T-spine in the upper. So you want it mobile, you want it loose. Up and down the roller, just to loosen up the T-spine and bring warmth to the body. But I want you to keep your ribs down. So basically what that means is you're trying to keep your core engaged and your ribs down by basically, think about like you're taking a shit, like you're taking a poop, you know? You're squeezing, but obviously don't go too far where things come out. So just go easy. You can use the arms to open up. The next thing we're gonna do, we're just gonna go on the lowest part, the lowest segment of the T-spine, and we're just gonna do some extensions over the foam roller. So you take your hands behind your head, and just give me some extensions. Five each region. Next thing I want you to do is kind of hug yourself. And basically what you're doing, think about scrubbing the dishes. You're gonna scrub the whole back oof, and just breathe into it.
cool. Next thing I want to hit is the chest. Gets very, very tight, especially if we're sitting all day. So all you want to do is lay flat on your stomach, put the foam roller. You want the foam roller kind of where the shoulder meets the chest. And all you're doing here is you keep that arm on the ground and you're reaching up. Find the tight spots, like I said, reach up, scrub around, and release that chest region. Feel into it. Feel into the body, feel into the roller. Get yourself a door or some kind of a door frame, some kind of pole. You want to put your arm 90 degrees on that pole, feet straight ahead, and all you're doing is five slow twists to the side with your neck. Thanks so much for tuning into the video. I really appreciate it. If you like the video, hit like. If you want to share with friends, click share, copy the link, share with friends. And I'd be happy if you commented, dropped a nice comment and subscribed. Have a good, relaxing rest of the day. Peace out.